Yes, we are shifting focus to battleground Gujarat and bringing you your mandate, your city, a special segment on the big focus. The countdown has begun for the Gujarat Assembly polls, definitely the most closely watched electoral battle. But before we talk about politics, politicians and power, let's first get our viewers to Vadodara, to Sayaji Bagh to be precise, situated on the banks of Vishwamitri River, built by Maharaja Sayaji Rao III in 1879 spread over 113 acres. The garden houses, a zoo, a Baroda museum and a picture gallery, the Sardar Patel planetarium and also an operational toy train. Sayaji Bagh, decorated with sculptures, is not just an ideal place to rest and relax amid the well-maintained lush greens and fountains, but can also be an important junction to discuss the real issues, the issues that matter. My colleague Aruni will try to gauge the mood of the voters there. Rather, the mood of the seasoned voters, the silver citizens. Let's listen into what they have to say. I'm at the prominent uh, Sayaji Bagh, also known as Kameti Bagh, uh, in Vadodara, Gujarat. With me are many senior citizens. You can see them. We will try to gauge their mood with respect to the election perspective. We'll speak to them. Uh, we'll speak to you first, Uncle. Kya uh, kya issues rege? What all issues will be? prevalent in Gujarat elections also from Vadodara's point of view what all issues will be important party ke sab se agar aap baat karna chate, so you can speak about parties as well uh, BJP is well or uh, another thing hamara jo yaha pe MLA hai jitne bhi usko sab change karke naye la rahe hai achhi baat hai BJP ke liye or idhar aa sakti hai BJP koi bhi party aaye लेकिन वहां पे जो नरेंद्र भाई मोदी बैठे सेंटर में वो जो अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं उसी तरह के भाजप का ही राज होना चाहिए मेरे हिसाब से दूसरी पार्टी भी अच्छा काम करती है आम आदमी पार्टी ने भी अच्छा काम किया तभी तो दिल्ली में इतनी सीटें आई पंजाब में भी पूरी वहां पे सीटें आई तो अच्छा काम करोगे तो लोग आपको वोट देंगे कांग्रेस को अपनी नेतागिरी बदलनी चाहिए जो सीनियर आदमी है वो जो टॉप वाली मैनेजमेंट बदलो तो कांग्रेस बदलेगी बाकी जिसमें चलान देश ने घर चलाने के अक्ल नहीं है वो देश क्या चलाएगा ऑन द टॉप ऑफ दैट हेड नरेंद्र भाई जो काम कर रहे हैं काम सबको करना चाहिए मेर गवर्नमेंट इज टेकिंग प्रॉपर एक्शन एंड एज पर दोसीजर दे माइट गो हेड बट वॉट माई पॉइंट इज दैट केजरीवाल हैज गॉट नो ग्राउंड इन गुजरात फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ही इज स्पीकिंग वेरी लो एंड वेरी वीक अबाउट गुजरात ही वॉज वंस ही वॉज टेलिंग कि गुजरात वाला सुन लो आप मेरे लिए मेरा क्या कर लेंगे तो ऐसा लोग को गुजरात में आने की जरूरत ही नहीं है सेम है आम आदमी पार्टी और कांग्रेस का वोट वेट हो जाएगा बीजेपी को बीजेपी को फायदा होगा और इनको ये बात भी बराबर है कि ऑपोजिशन पार्टी स्ट्रांग होना चाहिए लेकिन ये डबल इंजिन सरकार ही आएगी क्योंकि इसमें बहुत सारा फायदा होता है my colleague Arunil has been tracking the developments from Vadodara. He gets us this report from the city's toy train. The backdrop may be playful, but the conversation was pretty intense. Let's listen in. this Sayaji garden we'll speak to some of the some of the tourists who have come over here they are from Gujarat only so aap bataiye aap aap kaha se ho aur jo election mein kya kya mudde rahenge aapke liye important Gujarat as a state aapko lagta hai develop kiya hai kya 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 changes aapko achche lagenge hello main Baroda se hi hoon local hoon यहाँ पर जैसे मुद्दे आपने बात किया है मुद्दे में तो अच्छा सा development हुआ है पहले से तो यहाँ के जो रोड और सब ट्रांसपोर्टेशन है वो ज्यादा बेटर हो गया है कोई पॉलिटिकल पार्टी ऐसा नहीं है जो स्पेसिफिकली पीपल के लिए वर्कआउट करता है बस यस आई स्पेसिफिकली लाइक बीजेपी वेरी मच बिकॉज द वर्क दे डू दे हैव बीन वर्किंग सिंस इयर्स लाइक 2014 से अगर पीएम की बात करें तो उन्होंने काफी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर जैसे इन्होंने कहा की बहुत सारा डेवलपमेंट किया है बट वन थिंग दैट आई हैव नोटिस एवरी ईयर इज द वॉटर ब्लॉकिंग एवरी ईयर यहाँ पे मॉनसून के सीजन में बहुत सारा पानी भर जाता है इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर आस टू ट्रेवल एंड इवन टू टेक आर चिल्ड्रेन टू डिफरेंट प्लेस इज ऑल्सो माई विलेज है फ्रॉम कच सो दे वॉज लॉर्ड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रॉब्लम दे वॉज लोड शेडिंग फॉर लाइक एट टू नाइन आवर्स नाउ वी हैव वॉटर सप्लाई ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स सो दे इज डेवलप 
Well, to talk about uh, the battleground Gujarat and also, of course, after listening in to those voices from the ground, let's first uh, go across to our reporters. We also have experts joining us. But first, let's take a quick word in from Aishwarya and Abhishek. Aishwarya is in Viramgam and Abhishek is in Surat. Yes, Abhishek, we, uh, in fact, uh, have been tracking the pulse of Surat very closely. You've been bringing us a lot of reports. Uh, today's drama is now creating so much buzz, the missing candidate and his resurfacing. Quick update on what has happened uh, of late. Yes, definitely. I knew, uh, you know, as the, the day started with the allegation made by Aam Admi Party that uh, their candidate from uh, South East Surat constituency has been kidnapped by the BJP and he's been pressurized to withdraw his nomination. Then a video surfaced uh, where the candidate himself was seen withdrawing the nomination and later the Aam Admi Party went ahead to Election Commission of India in Delhi as well as wrote to the election elector, uh, chief elector officer in Gujarat. And later when we interviewed uh, Kanchan Jariwala, the AAP's missing candidate personally, and he opened up and clearly said that he was never kidnapped. He, along with his family, went to a relative's place and by independently he has withdrawn his candidature and uh, there was no pressure from the BJP and the Gujarat police. In fact, he went on to say and allege that booth workers of Anmadi party of his constituency were demanding money to, you know, take ahead the campaign or uh, election campaign and where he clearly denied that and he said that I was unable to give them the money though he got uh, the, the, the share and the support from the central leadership but his own constituency members were opposing him and were not cooperating for the campaign and that's the reason he took okay. this hard decision yes, he, he and he gave has a withdrawn. detailed account on why he decided to withdraw but the uh, AAP leadership was quick to blame the BJP. Let me quickly also have uh, Aishwarya come in. Yes, Aishwarya, what are you hearing about this entire controversy? Uh, the AAP would like us to believe that the BJP is really nervous and jittery and resorting to all kinds of tactics. It turns out that the man has resurfaced and he has a different narrative. Uh, well, that's what, uh, uh, you know, uh, it has been issued by and statement by, uh, uh, you know, uh, the candidate itself from Surat. Uh, while we had word with several of the senior uh, BJP leaders here in Ahmedabad and uh, uh, they clearly stated that it is just uh, uh, for uh, the pop, uh, for for the uh, fake publicity. That what's uh, what that's what BJP has claimed as far as uh, whatever has happened as far as the turn of events of the uh, uh, Aam Party MLA from Surat is concerned. Uh, they also stated that BJP has no role uh, as far as uh, you know his kidnapping is concerned. Today morning he went and later he issued the statement as well that he uh, uh, you know it was his inner consciousness that uh, he should withdraw from the Aam Aadmi Party. Uh, uh, candidate from Surat and nothing has been uh, the role of the BJP uh, while I have also a uh, word from, uh, uh, you know, a very senior uh, leader from the BJP. They clearly stated that, uh, uh, you know, looking at these turn of events, uh, whatever is happening with Aam Aadmi Party, several of the candidates have taken and withdrawn their name shows uh, that Aam Aadmi Party has no ground in Gujarat. That's what the BJP has been claiming. But on the other side, Aam Aadmi Party is uh, top leadership Can from uh, Manish Shishodhya. Candidatures Shodhya, are, you know, are being withdrawn. The AAP is blaming the BJP. Uh, that is what seems to be happening. Let's welcome joining us here on the program Ashutosh political analyst and Gargi also a political analyst thank you so much for joining us here on the big focus very good evening to the two of you yes Ashutosh uh, you know it's a uh, it's a little embarrassing then for the Aam Aadmi party if you have your candidate resurface and then of course go on a tirade exposing the party saying why he was uh, forced to withdraw his candidature and exposing Aam Aadmi party uh, itself I'm not able to hear you, Ashutosh. You have to unmute yourself. Yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, Afrita, why Amadi Party should be embarrassed? I think Amadi Party is very good in terms of uh, 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 raking up an issue and making a, make, uh, doing a politics around it. 
I think it has it has come up as a as a good uh, excuse for the Amadi Party for the simple reason because Amadi Party in the Surat has done very well in last. Uh, uh, municipality election in 2021 when they got 28.5 percent vote share and they were the number two party where the Congress party uh, just got 18 percent vote share and zero seats. So uh, they were clearly the number two party and that's, that's why they are staking the claim that Ahmadi party has been giving a tough competition to uh, BJP in Surat and that's one reason that the BJP is feeling jittery. That's the argument. But their, their argument has a lot of validity because anybody who's, who's contesting election has filed his nomination and suddenly mysteriously disappears and then he appears and appears not alone. But uh, there are a lot of policemen around him, a lot of BJP guys were around him. So what is the reason that the policemen were around if, his, if there is a change of heart? Then he could have easily come, could have easily withdrawn his nomination and could have uh, uh, gone, uh, have walked away. But the, the the amount of police, the number of police... Which are, but you really police... think, Ashutosh, BJP would go to this extent? Why would they need to do so? You heard the viewers, you heard the citizens are saying comfortably BJP will tie through this yes. because the votes are getting divided between AAP and Congress. Anybody hmm. can see that. So you really yes. think that there would be a conspiracy at play at this level, Ashutosh? Uh, Frida, uh, Frida, I think sometimes we forget that the BJP and the Narendra Modi doesn't want to lose doesn't want to uh, to leave any opportunity miss for the simple reason because this is a different BJP altogether. The BJP f uh, fights with a killer instinct. They have got a gladiatorial instinct. So okay. even if they, they are jittery in one part one seat, it, seat hmm. Hmm. they will try to, to win that seat uh, come what may. And you would have seen how they behave during the Panchayat election in Uttar Pradesh, where the candidates were not allowed to file even the nomination, their papers were torn and all kinds of things happened. So this is a different BJP altogether. And don't forget, last time in 2017, the BJP uh, somehow managed to win election because of the five um, uh, big metropolis cities in Gujarat. Out of 55, they got 45 seats. If they had not won these handsomely, probably BJP would have been in a, in, in a, in a mess there. You know, uh, in a way, if you look at the election results, even the recent municipality election results, uh, BJP had 93 out of the 120 seats. AAP had 27. Gargi Roy, so to a certain extent, what Ashutosh is saying is not incorrect, that AAP has made inroads into Surat. And the municipal polls of 2021 perhaps was a wake-up for call for the BJP, not to leave anything to chance. Congress, in fact didn't score at all out of those 120 seats from the data that I'm looking at. Yes. Uh, you know, I, AAP is very good in creating drama. I think Ashutosh must be knowing it very well. He has been part of it. He knows how what kind of drama Mr. Kejriwal is capable of. And today we have seen it. I have got whatever the Gujarat report is, I'll tell you this time because of AAP's entry, you call me on the day of results, BJP will get more vote than the last time, at least more than 130. That is approximately more than 130 seats BJP will get because the anti-BJP vote is going to get divided between AAP and Congress. And we are seeing what Kanchan Jariwala is saying. They were the part of the Spatidar movement and all. So what he is saying, his people, his relatives are asking him, they are not happy because he's fighting on an AAP ticket, which they think is an anti-India party. I have just heard a Kanchan Jariwala. He said, because my people are mentally disturbed, because my people are saying that I should not fight a ticket, uh, election on AAP ticket. And the booth level was are asking for money. You must be knowing what has happened in MCD election in uh, Delhi. Uh, Anti-corruption uh, bureau have arrested people, right? The MLS, PA and relatives for taking money. So this is the level of corruption AAP has. People are people of Gujarat are intelligent. Gujarat has, is the fourth GDP in the country. It has seen so much development. They are seeing what is happening in Delhi. Before Kejriwal used to only cough. Now entire Delhi is coughing. So he has given one thing to Delhi, this anarchist Andolan GD yes, party. Yes, here, Gargi Roy, we wanted a very here. focused uh, you know, discussion on this issue because what the missing candidate, the so-called quote-unquote missing candidate has come out with is again allegations against his own party. That could be a ploy, you are saying. It could be a ploy by the BJP. My question is... Is it even yeah. required by a party that by all accounts we can see already has an advantage? So clearly, right. maybe BJP there is some internal, some internal assessment that it is not as easy a cakewalk for BJP as it seems like. Yes, Ashutosh.
No, I think See, BJP the, doesn't yeah. need to do this. I think this is a sheer embarrassment for our party when Kanchan Jariola comes out and gives his statement. It mm. is an embarrassment. They can come out with yes, conspiracy theories. Yes, but the other theories. side Nobody can say can that all of this is being stage managed. There can be an argument. Yes, Ashutosh. See, uh, uh, even the best student in the world, unless the results are out, always have a butterflies in his stomach. Hmm. So don't forget that. Hmm. So unless unless the results are out, how can uh, somebody say that the BJP is going to get 140 seats or 160 hmm. seats? BJP has been consistently losing the number of seats since 2002. And last time election held and it was just got 99 seats, despite Narendra Modi's popularity and Amit Shah's Chanakya Niti. And this time, BJP is... There is a strong anti incumbency against the BJP. Otherwise, what was the need to change the entire cabinet and the chief minister? If the mm. Rupani government, the BJP government was doing so well, so fantastically, so uh, so remarkably well, there was no need. Nobody changes its winning horse. Uh, will you change? And then change so many minister? of the sitting because MLAs, Ashutosh, is. isn't it? So many of their uh, big wigs were replaced. I'm saying, I'm saying, forget, yes. about, forget about the forget about MLAs. Hmm. This is unprecedented that the entire cabinet is changed. Yes. The chief minister is, say, yes. is changed. Somebody who is totally unknown is hmm. made the chief minister. There must be some fundamental reason for this. What okay. is the reason? I ha have you heard that anybody changes its winning horse? Nobody changes its winning horse. So let's so play out this other report. Just hold your thought, Ashutosh, coming back to you. Because today was the day where uh, the... Uh, uh, Home Minister was in Gujarat after over 30 years. Gujarat, like we've been talking, is going to see a three-way fight. Today was the day again the Home Minister exuded confidence when he called out uh, Bhupendra Patel as the next CM of Gujarat. Uh, let's listen in uh, to some of the inputs that come in. Uh, Home Minister Amit Shah and Bhupendra Patel on the campaign trail. <laughs> संख्या आप शाहूना यहाँ संसंद करने से ये संतों ना चरणों में वंदन करूँ तो अने आजे आशीर्वाद आपे के खूब निष्ठा दिया में खूब सारा कार्यो नाना माना नाना मानस तू सेवा नाना मानस तू के कार्य हमें करी सकिए जब के अपना साथे भी मुझे गार्गी रॉय यस क्विक रिस्पांस तू व्हाट आशुतोष वाज सेइंग अलिया he, he can have his opinion, ma'am, but I think BJP really doesn't need to do this and AAP can come out with his conspiracy theories. And when he's thinking of changing the candidates, suppose a person is not performing well, that means BJP gives tough, tough pressure on the people to perform. See, if you are not performing, if you're not working for your people, you will be replaced by somebody who is supposed to work better. Say, for example, in Morbi, what they have given, done, they have not given ticket to the sitting MLA, but the person who was a former MLA, Kanti, Bhai, uh, Kanti Lal, he had jumped into the water and saved. Media did not cover much. When the accident happened, the former BJP MLA had jumped into the water and saved many people. Now that person has been given the ticket. What do you think? The people will be so grateful to this new uh, Kanti Lal, Kanti Bhai, right? So they will vote for him. So these are the decisions when someone is not performing and you replace him with a better performing person, a better equipped person. That Nobody has a problem with that, Gargi Roy. Nobody has a problem with that. The problem begins when, you know, there are insinuations that the BJP is stage managing all of this, forcing people to withdraw candidature, not one or two, but many. But Ashutosh, isn't it strange that for a party that has decisively won Lok Sabha two back-to-back uh, you know, elections, all seats in the Lok Sabha elections in the last two uh, elections and has, uh, you know, its strongholds in Gujarat. The Home Minister, uh, the Prime Minister is from that state. Would it really stoop to this level? No. Yeah, Ashutosh, Ashutosh, please. I'm not insinuating that the BJP is going to win. I'm also not saying that the BJP is going to lose. The fact of the matter is when Narendra Modi was the Chief Minister, for a good 12 years, he remained the chief minister of Gujarat. But in the last eight years, there has been three chief ministers. Sandeep Ben Patel, Vijay Rupani, and now this fellow. 
And if Bhupendra Bhai Patel was such a brilliant person as a leader, then why he was not a minister, made a minister in the Rupani government? He was not made, he was not even, uh, even, even realized that he's such, such a brilliant person. Suddenly overnight, Vijay Rupani is told, you have to resign, somebody else will take place, take, take your place, and then Mr. Bhupendra Bhai Patel becomes the chief minister. So there has to be some reason in the last five, out of the five years, if the four years the government has not delivered, do you think that in one year, some miracle will happen? No. So BJP is very strong in, in Gujarat for the simple reason, because there is Mr. Narendra Modi. You remove Narendra Modi, and then you will realize where the BJP in Gujarat stands today. About the prosperity and uh, about development, Gujarat has always been a prosperous state. Gujarat has always been a developed state. Gujarat has always been rich with infrastructure. Don't forget yes. that. So it's not... Mr. Narendra Modi and the BJP got it uh, great. If you, if you look at the hunger index, if you look at the poverty index, on those parameters, the, the human index parameters, Gujarat is either 16th or 17th or 18th out of the big 1920. Uh, but big is state. that information seeping into the last man on the street? Will it influence the voting patterns? That remains to be seen. Gargi Roy Ashutosh, thank you very much for joining us here on The Big Focus and for helping us understand these complex issues. I will leave our viewers with 